So some of you have asked to see my palette and I'm just going to talk about some of the colours I've used in this video. So first of all there's cobalt blue and then there's manganese blue and then there's cobalt turquoise and cobalt turquoise light. There's also raw umber and burnt umber and there's cobalt violet plus a little bit of Prussian blue, a little bit of Payne's grey and a bit of black and that's just about all in here. I think there are a few spots of Windsor lemon. So that's about it in terms of colours used in this painting. So now it's on with the time lapse and I've drawn out the dog, hammered out all the problems on paper first and then transferred it. I do the first lay-in with cool washes of cobalt blue and then a bit of burnt umber and raw umber acting as some of the warm areas. The lighter of the two browns is the raw umber and that's what you can see is the warmer, more orange areas. Um, and then I'm using Payne's Grey <clears throat> mixed with either cobalt blue or raw umber to create some of these very dark areas. There is some black going in much later to consolidate those darks and I start with quite a wet in wet approach as you can see on the neck of the dog and on its rear um, areas it's all quite wet in wet and bleeding but contained within the drawn area so it's not bleeding out into the background at all and I'm just really looking for big shapes and looking for the tones and trying to establish the form of the dog really so at this stage it's very freely painted and I'm trying to control the edges of the areas of light and dark. Now a few more details are going in on the eye which helps to focus and is one of the main focal points in fact. Um, and as I build up various areas you see a bit of the opera rose pink going around the nose. It's very, it's a bit of a fugitive colour opera rose, it tends to be a bit light sensitive. Uh, and I'm just using the minor amount of it just to suggest some of that warm pinkiness around the muzzle. Uh, I've wiped out some areas as well of light inside the shade, which helps to illustrate the light forming on uh, falling onto the different parts of the form. That blue collar as well contrasts nicely with some of the warmer umber areas. And the background's just suggested in in washes, just to help to define where the light edges of the dog's snout contrast against the background. In the reference shots I had it was much darker than this uh, but I didn't like that really harsh dark and I like to just focus on the dog. So as I develop the painting I'm adding a few bits of white watercolour which I didn't uh, mention on the uh, palette intro section um, but that white watercolour just gives a cooler white and helps to just pick out some of the areas. Um, it's Windsor & Newton Titanium White if you were wondering. All the artists colours are artists uh, Windsor & Newton pigments. Um, that's pretty much all I'm using in my palette at the moment. I've got another palette open there but actually I don't think I really dipped into it at all on this uh, video. Uh, so I didn't mention it but that's got some other colours on it that uh, I don't normally use all the time, just a few specialist things in there. And um, a variety of brushes, uh, one Chinese watercolour brush, uh, some unbranded synthetics and a small Art Master Almedia Series 10 synthetic. So here's the finished piece, I hope you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe to my channel and I'll be producing some more very soon. See you on the next.